Oh my days. <laughs> My life just flashed before my eyes, not to be dramatic, but I genuinely thought my camera wasn't working then, um, which would have been a problem because obviously I film all of my masterclasses on it, I film all of these live session replays on it, I film every single bit of content on that camera. So the thought that it had just died, oh goodness, I was a little grumpy mare at my dining room table then, but Good news guys, it's all fixed. I think we're all good and ready to go. Um, and if you are watching this replay on YouTube, then I hope you enjoy the quality. It's a lot better than live streaming on my phone, that's for sure. I am back, my friends. Um, let's jump into it. You know I don't like to beat around the bush, if that is the saying. Um, today, I'm gonna show you two really super quick tips for better fitting clothes. Um, I am all about, I just said cloves then, cloves, clothes, if I could pronounce it properly, that would be a great start. Um, I really should check myself. Anyway, I'm coming to you today with some quick tips in under 60 seconds. You can implement these into your, or onto your patterns, and you're going to be able to get better fitting clothes tailored to your unique figure, um, celebrating you for who you are and your beautiful, unique shape. Isn't that what we want? Um, so, a few announcements are going to be declared throughout this, so keep your eyes and ears peeled, but I am all about reducing the overwhelm, okay? This is why this is such a perfect beginner-friendly introduction to tailoring your clothes um, in a way that isn't going to overwhelm you, but in a way that is also going to get you started understanding your body, making small changes, and it's the small changes that actually often have the biggest effect. Um, and this is going to be a really easy beginner-friendly approach. Another really easy beginner friendly approach for those that do not know is my pattern cutting basics course. Now this is completely free and I've created it in response to endless questions I tend to get um, because pattern cutting doesn't have to be mathematical equations, numbers on a sizing chart. In fact, I really encourage you to ceremoniously throw a sizing chart out the window, burn it, whatever you want to do. Um, it doesn't have to be as daunting as you are probably making out. Pattern cutting can be the organic relationship of draping on the stand without even having to draft anything. Um, but the pattern cutting basics course, which is so free, you can go and just sign up, there's no strings attached, no um, cost to it at all, no financial commitment you have to make, it is 100% free for you to um, access, has three tutorials and lessons within it, you've got tools and terminology, you've got measurements and markings, and then you have basic pattern cutting techniques to really get you started um, and as I say this was created in response to endless questions I always get. Um, you guys are a curious bunch and so you can go over to digitalpatternlibrary.com, you can sign up to that, you can access it immediately and you can really get started with your own patterns. Today we're going to be dipping into um, this quick under 60 seconds technique in order for you to get better fitting clothes and then next month because we are rounding off July in the DPL Atelier, next month being August, is month two of our current Create, Cut, Construct framework. So we are moving into month two, which is cut, and we are starting to draft our very own pair of trousers. I am really excited for this one, ask any of my members. Um, we have been designing our very own trouser designs, and I am now gonna be bringing them to life with my members, teaching them how to draft a pair of trousers, not only to your measurements, so not only are you gonna be drafting a pair of trousers to your measurements, but then you're going to be having the skills to enhance that into a more elaborate design. So this is what is coming up in month two over in the DPL Atelier. Um, and so to dip our toe, why don't we do a little bit of pattern cutting ourselves today? So the two techniques I'm going to show you that both take under 60 seconds. This is so, so quick and easy in order for you to um, tweak your clothes, tweak your patterns for them to fit your unique body. The first one is simply grading between patterns, okay? So a standard um, sewing pattern, as we know, there is an issue across the board. Um, they are basically drafted to the, and I use this term so loosely, ideal um, body shape, says the girl with scoliosis and a 48 degree curvature in my lower spine. <laughs> I do not fit this ideal and I'm sure many of you watching do not fit this ideal. Um, but 
As you will see, patterns are often drafted to um, the waist being the narrowest part of the body. This kind of like ideal hourglass figure, blah, 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 very boring. Power to you if you've got one. Power to you if you don't have one because we're about to figure out how to make your clothing fit and celebrate your unique, beautiful body. Um, so. What you wanna do in order to grade between patterns, we're just gonna to touch upon the bust line, waistline, and hip line today. Say for argument's sake, your waistline is not the narrowest part of your body, but your bust line and your hip line can tie in with a pattern. Rather than cutting out one pattern or one size and then kind of trying to fit it afterwards and faffing around with all of that and putting it on once you've twirled it or even worse, for those of you out there, and I know you exist, for those of you out there who don't twirl and you just go gung-ho and cut out a pattern in a size and make that up in final fabric and then you have that horrible disheartened feeling when you put it on and it doesn't fit you how you wanted it to, Let's rewind, okay? Let's take these preparation steps before you're even cutting cloth to make your garments fit you. Now, let's say, ooh, with my pen here, let's go six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, or whatever the range is on your pattern, okay? Just have a little look. It will come with a sizing chart. If not, you can do a little bit of guesstimate work. I can do another video on that, on if your pattern is not labeled bust, waist, and hip line, how to um, try and find that on the pattern. It will be a guesstimate. It won't be accurate, totally accurate. Um, but I can help you uh, discover that. Basically, really quickly going through it, hip line is the widest part of your lower body. Waistline would usually be the narrowest part of the torso and the bust line, widest part across the top. Um, but again, with the bust line, that could definitely differ depending on the design of the pattern. So I will do another video on that if um, anybody would like me to just to break that down and help you identify different areas and balance points if the pattern itself is not labeled. But most sewing patterns that you are buying or you are purchasing and using should have these labeled on them. Um, so if you have a little look at the sizing chart that comes with this pattern and you can have a look at the bust line, waistline and hip line measurements, you might be thinking, well, hang on, I'm a eight in the bust line, I'm a 12 according to the pattern measurements in the waistline and I'm actually a 14 in the hip line. So what we can do is we can actually grade this out before cutting out the pattern. So we're already tailoring this pattern and all you want to do for that, I'm gonna do it in pencil first, is you wanna start. So the bust line, what did I say? Did I say I was an eight? The waistline were 12 and the hip line we were 14. So all you wanna do is connect from the bust line to the waistline using a pattern master here. Obviously this is not a full scale pattern. I'm gonna connect from the bust line to the waistline, eight to 12, and from the waistline to the hip line, 12 to 14. And then once you've done that, you just wanna true out your seam, which just means that we're not having any right angles, okay? You don't want anything to be a sharp angle on the body. The body does not have right angles. And so once you've kind of connected those, using a pattern master, or if you don't have a pattern master, it's not the end of the world, you can absolutely just kind of rough sketch this in by eye, given you're already working with a pre-existing pattern. But I'm just gonna smooth out there so that there's no sharp line and then you can draw on your new pattern shape okay so this is your pattern tweaked and amended to your unique figure and then when we come down here I'm just gonna curve it ever so slightly and blend that in so this line here is now our new sewing pattern, okay? So it's just grading between the sizes. And sure, you've lost this shape, but that's what a realistic figure can look like, you know? So just have a little play around with that. Again, it works in multiple ways. So if you just cross-reference your bust, waist, and hip line, you could end up being larger in the bust, narrower in the waist. So let's say you are a six, eight, 10, 12 in the bust, an eight in the waist, and maybe you're quite wide in the hip. 
and you actually want to come out quite a bit in the hip by here just connect them like so and then true out your seam okay so again if i was to draw this in This is actually trickier when I'm working on a tiny pattern with a full size uh, pattern master. But you just want to true that out. Might be easier for me to do that by freehand. But again, if you don't have a pattern master, there's nothing wrong with doing it by freehand. You want to true that out and then I would be curving that down like so. And so all you're doing is grade in between to make this a unique pattern to suit your unique figure. Um, so have a little go at that, play around with it. And even if you're not these sizes, it's a really strong exercise for you to just kind of see what different pattern shapes could look like. If you went from a narrower bust to a wider waist, went like this and then came back in for the hip, that is absolutely fine you might not think that looks right but if you're doing it and you're cross-referencing those measurements that as a pattern piece is absolutely fine that's gonna fit the figure as long as you are taking the measurements properly um again i've got a free video over on youtube if you just search dig digital pattern library blah, 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 can't even get my words out if you just search digital pattern library there is a taking measurements for fashion design video totally free go and have a little look at that cross-reference and then you'll have the confidence that when you are kind of to in and fro in between um your bust line and checking that and the waistline this is what it should look like okay we're gonna be tweaking it and that literally took me less than 60 seconds so the second technique then my friends and i have touched upon this one before but it just ties in and i just want to remind you and it is super super quick we've got some darts here okay i hope you can see that let me know who's with me as well um but we've got some darts here now Again, if you feel like um, you've tried and twirl, always, always twirl and sample, I'm gonna sound like a broken record. My members love and hate me for it because they say, oh, I've got this idea. And the first thing out of my mouth is always sample it. <laughs> Stop cutting final fabric, being disheartened that it hasn't resulted in the way you want. Trust me, I know how impatient we can get in this creative process. It has taken me the best part of a decade to slow down and just really enjoy the process and the results show for themselves um but sample it so if you are like in line with the kind of measurements that your sewing pattern is putting forward if you are ticking them off saying yeah that sounds like it's gonna fit me sample it make a twirl make a prototype make a mock-up try it on and what you can do to fit it and just tweak it ever so slightly so that it completely fat flatters your figure is you can actually reshape the darts. There is nothing wrong in reshaping darts. Now, I hope that you can see what I've got drawn here. Let me try and do it in um, thicker pencil, just so that it shows up on the camera. I'm not used to... Uh... You know when you're writing, let me know in the comments, you know when you're like um, writing, do you tend to like press, press hard in terms of pressure or are you quite like, do you hold the pen quite lightly? Because me and my dad, if it was up to us, would both like break through the paper. I hold my pen, my knuckles almost go white when I draw. Um, but anyway, obviously I haven't drawn that hard enough on the, on the page. So, same thing. If you feel like, say this is a um, dart in a trouser, top of a trouser or a skirt. So this is gonna be around your waist for shaping around the waist. Perhaps, even though the um, waistline might fit you the measurement might fit you you may have i mean me currently right now time of the month i'm a little bit bloated on my lower half okay so i'm definitely puffing out a lot more than i usually would um and so maybe i need a little bit more space now just because this waistline here fits me this measurement along here doesn't mean that i can't play around with shaping this dart and so to give myself a little bit more space i could curve this in like so and i'm giving myself a little bit more meterage or not meterage but you know what i mean a little bit more fabric what's that going to be about three millimeters so if i did that either side that's giving me 
six millimeters extra per dart, okay? And if you had two darts, then that's obviously 1.2 centimeters or 12 millimeters. So you're giving yourself a little bit of extra breathing room, breathing space here, to help your dart fit your figure, depending on the shape and the fluctuations, you know, the lumps and bumps, all the amazing things that us women should be celebrated for. Um, you can absolutely shape a dart to hug that and to accommodate that. And vice versa, if we move over to this one, Again, if the waistline fits, and you don't need to change the waistline, if this here is the right measurement, there still is nothing stopping you from playing around with reshaping your dart. And if you want to take out more, then you can absolutely, rather than draw this line on the inside of the dart, which gives us more space because we're taking out less, as you can see there, when you close this dart, you're gonna be taking out less. We can shape the dart on the outside of the dart legs, which means we're taking out just a little bit more. And so for whatever figure shape you have, whatever beautiful body shape that you've got, there are ways around it. Look, less than 60 seconds, I'm telling you. And you've just shaped your dart just a little bit different. And that is literally gonna make the world of difference. Having tailored clothes that fit, isn't that the reason most of us got into sewing in the first place? I mean, there's endless reasons. Unleashing your inner fashion designer, picking out the colors that suit you, having all the design details that you want, all the bells and whistles. But above all, guys, celebrate yourself by having clothes that fit. And these two techniques, grading a pattern, as you can see, we've done it for a multitude of body shapes here, grading a pattern, and shaping the darts are two techniques that will honestly take you less than 60 seconds, I'm not joking, that can really elevate your wardrobe and really elevate your skills as a sewist and a designer. Now, before I sign off, thank you to everybody for joining me live, but before I sign off, I actually have a freebie to give away. Um, some of you have done the best possible thing and I'm so grateful and you've actually gotten involved in this. Um, I can see some people have answered it but you've not emailed me. Now for those that don't have a clue what I'm going on about, I want to hear from you guys. I really, really, really want to hear from you. Um, I'm afraid for the first time ever this actually doesn't include my members. <laughs> For once, what I'm saying has nothing to do with my members. Usually my members get absolutely everything in the Digital Pattern Library universe, and that's honestly part of the reason. But if you are not a member, if you have just found me here at Digital Pattern Library, if you found me years ago and you're just coming back to it, whatever your journey and experience with Digital Pattern Library, unless you're a member, I want to hear from you. And if you fill out a feedback form, that if you DM me, I can send it to you. If you're watching this on the replay on YouTube, it's gonna be in the comments and the link just down below. But if you fill out this feedback form, they are short questions asking you about your experience with me here at Digital Pattern Library. I will give you a free masterclass of your choice worth £9.99. Now, the reason why this is not for my members is number one, they already have every single masterclass under the sun, so the freebie, you've got it. You've already got it. <laughs> Um, but number two, I really want to hear from anybody who has um, almost like an acquaintance, first kind of impressions from me, if you've been following me for a while, whatever your journey with me at Digital Pattern Library, if you could fill out this feedback form, DM me for the link, all it takes is probably maximum five minutes of your time. Go and have a little browse on my shop for masterclasses. Pick whichever one you want. Once you've submitted your feedback form, let me know and I will email that over to you. No strings attached, absolutely free, and you can further your learning. Somebody was very, very wise the other day and asked me for the drafting a dress block masterclass, which actually doubles up as two, because to draft a dress block, you have to draft a basic bodice block. So that was a very smart choice. But there is a range of masterclasses over on the shop. So if you would like to give me your honest thoughts and honest feedback, and I am talking really juicy, detailed comments. I don't want anybody to say, oh, I don't know, not applicable, because in all honesty, guys, that is not gonna qualify for a free masterclass. Even if your comments are negative, I wanna hear it all. Your girl works in fashion, okay? I am thick-skinned, but the biggest thing is I really need your feedback. 
in order to improve your experience here at Digital Pattern Library, in order to continue giving you all this free content, all of these tips and tricks, just that I can serve you. The world is a crazy place right now. And if we can enjoy some creative escapism, whether that is as a member in the DPL Atelier where we create, cut and construct our dream wardrobes, or whether that is you enjoying all of this free content I give, um, then I really would love to hear from you. So, as I say, DM me, I'll get you set up with a masterclass if you complete that form. I'll be eternally grateful. And then I'll also be able to keep delivering little tips, tricks and workshops like this. Um, but thank you so much for your time today, my friends. I really hope that you have found this valuable. Less than 60 seconds, I challenge you. I challenge you to give it a go on your next sewing project. Play around with it. Pattern cutting does not need to be intimidating. To prove my point even further, I have a free pattern cutting basics course if you just go and visit digitalpatternlibrary.com. Sign up for it. Three free tutorials, really good value, detailed stuff. Um, and I will catch you on the flip side. Peace and love, everybody. Thank you for joining me live, and I will see you same time next week, Monday, with another free live workshop. Catch you on the flip side.